It just feels like everything kind of adds together. And when you understand what's going on, it's like an incredible feeling. Well, it is the second day of BlizzCon 2018, and things are starting to head towards the close on the WoW Arena side. I'm here right now with Sidu, talk a little bit about how his uh, weekend is going quite well so far, and uh, also just the state of WoW Arena. So first off, what has this weekend been like for you so far? This weekend so far has been absolutely incredible. We couldn't be in a better position. Uh, the first day of the main stage, we won both of our series, putting us directly into the finals. So we're kind of just wait waiting patiently to see who it look like, looks like we're going to face off against. Um, it's a really great feeling. I've never been in this position before where we're so far ahead of the other teams, but that doesn't mean we're going to take our foot off the gas. We definitely know that there's still one series left and it's going to be a tough one. Every team here is so good and they're all thirsty for the win, so we just got to make sure that we're one step ahead. Well, I know you've been uh, at this for a long time, but what does it mean for you to be so close? I mean, it means everything. I've been working at this for so long. It's a goal that I really, really want to achieve, and I just got such a great team behind me, and we got great work ethic and practice ethic that I think that this year is its going to be the year. I feel really confident. Very good. Looking forward to seeing how that plays out in just a little bit. Uh, but I do want to also talk to you just about the state of WoW Arena, because it kind of feels like, uh, and I don't know if you would agree with this, but it feels like WoW Arena is kind of having a renaissance this year. I mean, what do you think uh, 2018 has been for WoW Arena, especially with the launch of the new expansion? I think 2018 has been pretty good for WoW Arena. I think the esports team is doing such a great job to try and get more tournaments, get more prize pool, you know, make it more hype, try and make it more, um, I guess, efficient for players to actually put their time into it. So if you want to pursue being a full-time uh, WoW player, you actually kind of get a little bit more back. So it's more realistic for people to actually do that as like a full-time job, which is going to lead to more teams and more competition. So really big shout out to the WoW esports team. But I think with BFA coming out, um, the numbers have been really, really good. Watching the regionals, or excuse me, the uh, online cups as well as the BlizzCon now, they're, they're hitting close to 80K, which I think is really, really good. And we're not even at the finals yet. And there's a lot of competition with the other BlizzCon um, tournaments going on, right? So they're competing against themselves. So I think the numbers have been great. And uh, 8.1 is looking really good. As long as um, Blizzard keeps putting the time into WoW Esports, I think it's going to continue to grow. Have there been times in the past where you've been like, I don't know if I should stick at this anymore because... I don't know, maybe it felt like things were dropping off or whatever? There's definitely been times in the past where I said, you know what, if I win this year, this is going to be it. It just, I wouldn't say it doesn't feel like it's worth it, but the amount of time and effort that you put in for what you're getting back, it didn't feel worth it at the time. But with what I do now as a full-time streamer and how my team backs me up on what I do, they understand that I got to stream and take some time off the, the practice to make sure that I'm doing my full-time job. It kind of works out with me now. So I'm in a position where it feels like quitting when WoW Esports is on the rise, the highest it's ever been, just doesn't really make sense to me. So I want to stick around for as long as I can. What it feels like to me that this year, uh, in particular, Twitch has really changed the, the accessibility of so much stuff, right? Like people are streaming raids, obviously you're streaming, there's all this stuff happening. What are your thoughts on just kind of the impact of Twitch and WoW this year? I mean, Twitch is incredible. I think every time Twitch has an opportunity to enhance the viewer experience or the actual broadcaster's experience in terms of watching or to help them out make more revenue, I think they just do such an incredible job. I'm so appreciative of Twitch. Without them, I, I wouldn't be able to do any of this. You know, I love WoW, but if it wasn't my full-time job, I, you know, I have a family now. I, I would have to uh, make uh, ends meet some other way. So I think Twitch is doing a great job. I love the inspect button. It allows viewers to understand more and answer so many questions. So I'm really, really appreciative of them. Yeah. There are probably a ton of people that are watching this interview uh, that maybe haven't tuned into WoW Esports before or recently. What would you say to the people that are kind of like, oh, you know, like I did play some BFA, like, I, it sounds like this is a big deal. Like, what for people that are interested in getting in, what, what would you say? I mean, I think WoW PvP is something that is really difficult to understand. It takes a lot of time, but at the end, it just, I feel like nothing feels more rewarding. You understand how your class plays as well as the other 10, 11, 12 classes. I don't even know anymore. So it just feels like everything kind of adds together. And when you understand what's going on, it's like an incredible feeling. And some people that don't even follow WoW Esports can just enjoy it and appreciate it so much just by the background stories of the players, knowing what they go through and uh, knowing how much time they put in. So I would just say if you guys haven't seen it or checked it out, you should definitely check it out. It's not too difficult to follow if you're just trying to look at the HP bars and stuff, but if you're trying to understand in depth, it's going to take a little bit more time. Where, where should people go, like if they want to get into it, what are some resources or where should they like first look into this? I would say Wowhead has probably got some of the best resources. They got guides from top players for you know how you want to gear, how you want to spec, what comps you can play and things of that nature. 
But other than that, just look for streamers that play your class on Twitch. And uh, that should be good enough. Pretty, pretty good example of why people should be watching. I'm sure having you right there, which also means you probably want to go catch that. Uh, is there anything you would say to any of the c fans out there rooting for you this weekend? Absolutely, man. Thank you guys so much for supporting me throughout all the years. It means a lot. You guys definitely pushed me to keep going. I hope I don't let you guys down. Thank you so much for the interview, taking your time. I know you've got a lot to do today, so thank you so much. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things BlizzCon 2018 right here on my YouTube channel. Well, BlizzCon was awesome, uh, but now I am in front of my new home, the burned-out remains of Undercity uh, after the Alliance has destroyed it. Um, and uh, as you can imagine, there's a lot of work to be done on renovating this place. So if you want to help me out, there's a bunch of links in the description below. You can sub to my Twitch. You can hit a Patreon. You can just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Any of that stuff is great because uh, this is, is going to need some work.